Hello everyone, no respawns here, hope you're doing well. So, as a lot of you know, I've been playing quite a lot of Prey recently because the game is absolutely fantastic. And I wanted to give you a quick little tips video, I guess. But I, Oh, I've missed something over there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give you a video on... That does no point because this is a much earlier save. I'm going to give you a quick video on the recycler charge and why it's possibly one of the greatest utility items in the game and can be used to solve so many annoying little issues. So those of you who don't know, recycler charge is this wonderful little thing here. I've got six and again, this is a much earlier save. I just saved it for the point. Um, and it uh, to go. attracts all objects within a short radius and then recycles them into material fragments can be thrown or attached to surfaces. Oh, wait, I just picked up the... There we go. So basically, this thing is absolutely fantastic. It's a grenade. What happens is it, you basically throw it and it'll draw everything towards it and it will recycle a certain number. It can't recycle everything. There seems to be a limit to how much how many individual objects the recycler charge can be used on. I don't know the exact science. Someone much wiser and with much more free time than myself possibly will at some point give you an exact calculation of how it works, but well, I, I can't be asked, yeah? So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on some of the more less obvious ways of using it, which is what the great thing with the recycler charge, it's one of those things that could be used to solve problems that you maybe didn't realize it could use to solve problems. Well, the first thing is obviously its initial use is that you throw it at, you know, let's just use it on, so over here, for example, so I throw out stuff, and bosh, there we go. So I've got like some synthetic material, kind of material, mineral, but doesn't actually give you very much often unless you plan ahead, which is what this asks. So for example, if we go to my inventory here and just sort my messy menu out, I have, and this is the thing that you, I'm generally going for, which is mineral material because it's the thing most used for shotgun shells and also neuromodulated down the line. So I've got 3.54. And what I've gone and done is I'm in the hardware labs and I went and collected all of the engineers. Now, just as a note, and I will demonstrate it a bit earlier, you can use recycler charges on enemies and they're exceptionally good at engineers just because the resources you get back, as you're going to see in the second, make them quite a worthwhile thing to use. But let me show you. So I've got I don't know how many. I've got quite a lot of these here. I've already tried this before, but look. So remember again, I was just shy of four mineral material. So that's with one charge, and it's left three of them. If I just pick up everything... Obviously, there were always some other stuff as well. Synthetic material, that kind of thing. It's there. And so for that one there... We've now got eight. So it gave us basically just over four, and that is a lot. For one charge, that's basically two Nora mods or 24 shotgun shells or whatever you like. So for these, kind of, this pile gives me quite a bit. Now, I may seem quite obvious to some, but seriously, just whenever you want to use your... Oh, I didn't, didn't do the phantom thing. Motherfucker. But whenever you want to use the recycle charges, it's a really, really good idea to... Pile up as much stuff and think about what kind of things you're kind of taking in. A good way is what I've been trying to do is experiment. So I've been kind of quick saving and then just kind of experimenting with on certain things. For example, the end, the operators seem to be one of the best things to use a recycler charge on. So as you can see, with that was to all of those operators, I now have just shy of 10 mineral material, down from like four. So it's 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 absolutely awesome. That's three three Nero mods. So with the four I've got here, you know, I could have seven then. Loads of shotgun shells, and then also of the synthetic material, I can't remember what have you there, and the organic and all that jazz. So that's what the, the initial, but it's kind of thing I wanted to show you, is just kind of when you're actually using it for specifically for getting mats, just make sure that you pile things up, and it's really, really good at it. So just kind of experiment around. Use your... Oh, I left one over here. Aww. Um, use your kind of common sense in a lot of ways. I look at the item, think, right, I'm probably going to get, for example, lots of organic material with a bit of synthetic from a chair with some mineral, that kind of stuff. It's quite straightforward. But also, the recycler charge can be used to destroy more or less any object that's movable, right? So, for example, when you get... Now, annoyingly, I couldn't fucking find one. But you're in a situation, let's hypothetically say, where you've got a box or boxes blocking your way. Especially in the lobby, there are quite a few areas that you can't pass without leverage one, two, or three. 
And depending on what build you're going for, you might not actually want or be able to invest in these things at that time. Um, now, annoyingly, I couldn't actually find a place. Um, but for example, this is usually the worst offender right here for, um, for getting in your way. So just for example, you can actually use them on any kind of big crate. And voila. So for example, in places like, and I didn't even realize this, and it made me kind of go back through especially in the early game, I went back through and look, looked around, and there are quite a lot of areas that you think you might have to wait until the later game to unlock. God, I missed this. I think I did actually come through here and check, so don't don't be too pissed off at me for missing bits. It's all right, I'll go back in my save and, <laughs> and come back here. But don't... It's, they're really, really useful for kind of solving issues. I know when I tweeted out the other day, I was like, the recycle charge is actually amazing for solving so many problems. But now, on the subject of enemies... Um, you probably heard him wandering around. So the recycle charge can one-shot quite a lot of enemies. I haven't tested it out fully. It probably won't work for the, the bigger stuff. But for kind of all the mid-range kind of annoying things... Let's see if I can not get toasted here. Where are you, fuck? He's around. He's always over there. There he is. Okay, there we go. So for this fellow here... Oh, I'm just throwing it. There we go. Boop. Hello. <laughs> so that did 178 damage on him. And, you know, I've gotten like... Let's just take my materials first. So I've got like... Oh, I know. It's, it's good. It's good. I've got all the chairs as well. But it's, it's very, very useful. I don't think it draws things to you. So, for example, I was actually going to try and find a place where I had loads of mimics. If you throw down a Typhon Lure... So, do I have any on me right now? I don't have any in this point in the game. But basically, you throw down a Typhon Lure, which are those items which attract enemies towards it. So say you've got, I don't know, a Telepath or something. One of, the, one of those ones which is just really pain in the ass that have loads of ads with them. If you then throw down a Typhon Lot, then throw down your Recycler Charge, not only are you just, like, one-shotting quite a lot of ostensibly tougher enemies, but also you're getting loads of quite useful materials. I, I didn't even bother looting this guy, did I? Ah, oh, useless. Sorry, Titus. But yeah, I just, I wanted to kind of give you guys a kind of overview of the, the glory that is the Recycler Charge. There is a schematic for it. Um, I have actually found it. I don't want to kind of give a spoiler on where the schematic, but there is one and you will come across it kind of in the mid game. So don't worry about that um, in that area there. But you do find quite a lot of them. I mean, for example, I don't spam these and everything, but for example, say if I'm running low on mineral material, I, I tend to like grouping. It's quite fun when you, when you realize you can kind of take out enemies with these recycler charges. Oh, and also just as a note, there is in the, I don't know if I have it equipped, let me just check, suit chip set, there we go. So you get this one quite early on, a specialising shield that makes you immune to recycler charges. That one's a good investment to have, because uh, it will stop you from basically getting recycled. <laughs> I've never actually used it on myself without the uh, without the chip set, but I'm assuming it's probably not very pleasant and takes your health down by quite a bit. Anyway, hope you guys found that useful. Let me know if you found any um, kind of interesting uses of some of the weapons and particularly some of the utility support items in the game. I'm really liking Prey for this. They've added quite a huge amount of depth to the game, as I mentioned in my last video. And they've also... They've just made it so you can really kind of go about things in such weird and wonderful ways. Add into that the, the, you know, the fabrication system. It means that basically if I wanted to, I mean, I probably couldn't, but I could, you know, for example, kite as many of the enemies as possible, spend all of my time building recycler charges, and that could be me. I could be recycler car charge dude. Probably quite difficult, but maybe add a wrench in there for mixing things up. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns. I'll have a new Fallout video up soon. Don't know what the build is going to be yet, but it's going to be something cool. But until then, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I'm going to recycle tables. I don't think I can recycle that table. Oh, anyway, you guys take care.